Okay, but, all right, but even Caitlyn Jenner, who, who, no matter what gender she is, whether she's Bruce Jenner or she's Caitlyn Jenner, well, she is Caitlyn Jenner, uh, I'm just, I'm not, she's still rich and white, nigga, like, her life is gravy, my nigga, even her, as soon as... She revealed herself as Caitlyn. Hey, all they wanted to talk about was her tits and ass. As a woman, she was being objectified from Jump Street from day fucking one. Caitlyn Jenner was being objectified as a female from Jump. And they will forever mispronoun her. Out of Fight, nigga, like for no reason. Like, how dare her change her? Like, out of spite, they will objectify her. So even somebody who's so obscenely rich and white as Caitlyn Jenner got issues as a trans woman. So, my nigga, like you don't. There's no struggle, man. You jump into this shit. Like, oh man, I, I was never meant to be white, man. I was, I was supposed to be black. You can jump into this shit like like when the cops show up. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, well, as you can see, he obviously identifies with these young African-Americans. Treat them the same. No, there's no fucking consequences to this. Nah, all you want is the good and the highs, bro. You don't want to experience the lows. And so what's so dangerous about Rachel Dozell is that she, this, she never broke fucking character, bruh. She never stared at, like, she spoke the spoke. She's like, hey, 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 man, say what you want. She spoke the fucking, she talked the fucking talk of, of a woke black woman. She did. Like, you read her tweets. You read, like, she spoke, the, she walked the walk, she talked the talk. And that's so fucking dangerous because black people forever have been saying, hey, don't nobody want to be black, but everybody want to be black, but don't nobody want to be black. And I saw a tweet on there. It's like, she took that shit for a fucking dollar. She really did. And that's going to make you think, oh, well, all I have to do is really live the life. Nah, you can't live my life. You can't live my experiences. I'm a black man. Now, as a black man, have I been privileged? Absolutely. A, I'm a man. B, for most of my life, I've identified as Christian. C, my parents have done well enough that where I am middle class, all right? And I haven't really had a bad experience with a police officer. Like, honestly, I didn't become afraid of cops until about five years ago when they started being absolutely out of control. But uh, they, they were out of control, but, like that, but they started being blatant with it like five years ago. It was ridiculous. But... That doesn't change the fact that when I get out of bed, I'm going to have one person look at me a day, at least one, and say, ugh, that nigger, that nigger, no matter how intelligent I actually am, 720 mass, 725 verbal, by the way, on a racist ass standardized test, I might add I smash that shit. So when 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 these when these white folk look at me, I half of them, at least half of them will look at me no matter how what I say, how I dress, or how I articulate. At best, I'll be one smart nigger. No fucking trans ethnic or transracial person has to deal with that at all, at all ever. I don't care how deep you are with this shit, bro. I don't. You don't ever have to deal with that. Hold on. I got to put gas in my car because these people start tripping. Be right back. <laughs>